Hi guys, and uh, thanks for watching another video. This one I'm at Elton Carp Fisheries, in, well near Newnham in Gloucestershire. Uh, here for two days, 48 hours. It's Thursday morning, literally just arrived. Um, just unloaded the kit out the van and dropped the van back and had a bit of a walk around the lake. Uh, it's me and my mate Kieran, he's come to join me this time, so should be fun. Uh, and hopefully you can't see a few fish. There's no one else here. There's one guy over there uh, to my right, but I don't think he's actually there. I think he's gone out to work, I believe, from what the bailiff told me. But he'll be back later. But the sun's out. It's a good 15 degrees already. So, yeah, it's early May. It's, I think it's the 5th of May today. So just starting to get into the nice summer weather. But yeah, we'll have a look and I'm going to have a look around and see what's going on. Get the kit up and uh, have a look around the lake, literally. Right, so we're all set up. It's about 20 degrees now. It's lovely and warm lunchtime. Rods are out, three solid bags. Um, yeah, had lots of touches, but you know, that's to be expected. With all the bait and pellet or whatever going around, but I got two, two bags on the Hinders XO Lofters. I've had success with them here before and one of them with uh, my local syndicates bait so yeah we'll see how it goes it's odds are out you can see it's not far at all but I've seen fish moving along that margin and boshing out and splashing my mate fishing over there yeah got the tent got everything set up so we're ready to rock let's sit down and chill now okay Yes, my lion. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. What I like to do is if you get your PVA bag, you want to put a tight range of hook, make sure there's no bubbles on the side or anything, and then if you inject high pressure needs like squid juice in the side of the bag, make sure there's no gaps, and then you lick it, put it around your hook. Garvin 101. John Wilson, eat your heart out. <laughs> Hello again. Right, it's about four o'clock now. Nothing's happened. I had no takes or anything. I had a few beeps. But um, yeah, we still see the fish sort of swimming, just cruising along under the water, under the surface. Because it has been one of the hottest days so far. Well, the hottest day of the year we're in shorts and t-shirt anyway um yeah so not expecting anything to happen in that sort of heat but yes yeah, four o'clock i'm gonna bag another another three solid bags out to the margins i'll show you whereabouts in a minute um they should hopefully start to get on the feed soon this lake's pretty quiet still there's one guy back there he hasn't even cast out, so yeah, it's, it looks to me like it's one of these places that you just don't expect much in the day, in the heat of the day. Which is fine, no, we're all used to that. But yeah, if I show you again where we are, so there we are. So that bank over there is where I want to be, there's plenty of fish moving, but there's plenty of fish moving down, you know, in the margin here, and down in this margin down here. So I've pre-baited some uh, areas with a few boilies and I'll get some get some uh, traps set down there tonight. But yeah, I'm going to bang three more solid bags right out on that edge, you know, and it's close to the uh, close to the edge as I can because the first chuck I did is basically just to get the rods out while I set up and they're pretty much mid water. Yeah, middle of the day, they're not feeding, mid-water, it's not an ideal spot, so I wasn't expecting much, but yeah, we'll get change, change over some fresh bags in a minute and chuck them over right in the uh, far margin. Yep, this comes Bear Grills with some wood to burn. I've got to stay warm. Yep, it's prepping for our barbecue tonight. So yeah, All right, hopefully the next video will be me holding a fish or something going on. Cheers. Evening all. Right, nothing to report. But the new rigs are out, the new baits are out. 
and hopefully we'll have have something a bit later. What's it now? Five o'clock? Five out five. There's the man. Pro cart fisherman. My new bivvy. Have you cart fitted? Yeah, there, the new bivvy. My new slider. You're welcome. Is it recording? It is. Right then. I can edit all this. First fish of the session. Catfish. Wow, that is beautiful. 13, 14 pound after the sleep. Cheers, mate. Right, my man Kieran is making tea. We are having, so I'll talk you through the recipe. We're having homemade burgers with a bit of paprika and salt and pepper and some buffalo hot sauce. And then on the buns, we're gonna have, uh, on the bottom we've got a bit of onion. We have some burger sauce. All right. Sh shake it at first. We have a, uh, a small layer of burger sauce. Yeah, I don't want burger sauce, mate. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to. Too late, there. And then this one. That looks appetizing, yeah. Don't worry about that, mate. And then on the top buns, we're gonna have a bit of ketchup. So, Ooh. listen, trust me to do what I do, and you will enjoy it. I promise you that. That's my only promise to you. So, we'll have a bit of ketchup on the top, a bit of ketchup, not too much on the top. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our plastic cheese. Once we flip these, we've got our plastic cheese on top, and melt the cheese on top, flip it in the bun, the bit raw on the end, and that will be our tea before we start the real cooking. Nigella, eat your heart out. <laughs> Good morning. Now we're just doing some bacon. It's about half past eight, quarter nine. It's a lovely sunny morning. Don't know whether it's going to stay like this, but yeah. I have a bacon roll now and start thinking about the plan for the day. Still got three solid bags out and much else to report on that but I can already see the fish cruising under the surface because it's a lovely warm morning. We'll see how we get on. Oh, oh. Right. Nice fish. I don't think I'll bother weighing him. So it's about eight, nine. Ten probably, yeah. Ten foot, nine, ten. Oh yeah, right, a little update. Just had a fish, about ten pound common. Yeah, off a pop-up, pink pop-up on a Ronnie rig. First time the Ronnie rigs have actually worked for me, so that's good. Yeah, pink pop-up with some strawberry pink bottom baits to surround it, so matching the hatch. Yeah, and it's worked. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so didn't expect to get a fish at this time of day, but it has. So, yeah, bodes well for tonight. And, uh, we'll see how we get on. What size is it? He's big, mate. I bet I've got damaged tail, but 
It's the second one on the pink pop-ups. Give them away, shall we? Can we give them away? Yeah, definitely. Oh, there's nothing to it. What was it? Big fun. Is that it? Yeah. Right then. Just had fish number three. It was only eight, nine pound. Yeah, so no real size, but still a bit good fight. Was fighting it for about 10 minutes. Um, off the pink pop-ups again. So yeah, it seems to be working here. I tried the solid bags and only a little success, but that's two fish in space of an hour and a half on the pink pop-up with pink offerings all around it. So yeah, all good. See if we get any more. Hello there. Right, so that's the end of the video. Um, a little shorter than planned, the trip. Um, some heavy rain due tonight, um, so we decided rather than stay another night and get absolutely soaking wet tomorrow and then have to pack up everything wet in the morning, we both agreed we'll uh, knock it on the head. So yeah, me and my mate, we've uh, packed up. So it wasn't quite 48 hours, more like 36 hours, but no, good. So a three fish session, uh, my first ever catfish, 14 pound and two carp. Um, both around the £10 mark. Um, so yeah, can't really complain, this is quite a tricky water. But yeah, no, that was good. That was Elton Carp Fisheries and Cap Fishery um, in Gloucester, Gloucestershire. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. It was a, it was a good laugh um, doing it. Um, hopefully you see you on the next one. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel, Carping On.